Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're in the Tuesday, November 7th, 2023 Crosswords. Go for that 1,348 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, can Kawadi uh, amuse Nigel Farage? This is Clay, Comic, and Laugh and Chad. Pretty hard. I mean, I guess what I would say is I think I went pretty fast given how hard this was. Comic and Laugh being cross-referenced makes them harder. Kawadi. Googled them before. Nigel Farage. It's kind of a deep cut. And then Chad. That's hard to get without the crosses. So uh, pretty proud of that 10 second mini there. But uh, now main, time for the main event. That's the Tuesday Daily Grid which is by Kevin Curry and Daniel Bodily today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what uh, Kevin and Daniel have in store for us. Let's get into it. Ellie's team for which Tom Seaver pitched. I think it's the Mets. Mazda is the Mata Maker. Kindle item is his ebook. Chop House choice. T-bone steak, maybe? One required by a 1629 law to wear two swords, samurai. To, blank, to know blank is to love blank. Down the blank. Down the hatch. Mass recitation is the Agnus Dei, I believe. Skier support. T-bar lift or something. Surefire. Driver's license fig is height, maybe? Pouch of fluid in an ER is an IV bag? I blank what I said meant what I said. Okay. So this isn't this. Uh... Ave Maria. Okay. T bar something. Actors whose name is appropriate to pin this puzzle. That's Mr. T. Um, can't miss. I think this is. Uh, oh. Can't lose. I think this is T bar lift. No joke. Maybe it's for real. Wild guess. It's probably a stab. Miniature mitt. T ball glove. Storage Wars Next Network. And memory units bites. Treads on keds. Michelle Blank, don't know that one. This is a tilde. Torus shaped treat is a donut. Article of summer, summer footwear. Tirade is a rant. eBay is a site with um, placement buttons. That was A and E in the end. Plop down is sat. Common airport greeting. Hug. Serious. Treads on kids are souls. Launcher sometimes used during halftime periods at a sporting event. Is a t-shirt cannon? This is a T-strap sandal or something like that. Sarah Bareilles is a singer. Canal written about by Between and Melville is eerie. Studio with iconic light is MGM. Goes the distance, makes it. Bit of advice from a CPA. Tax something? Like items unveiled in a tech show colloquially. Not sure. One of five in an act. She plays an act. Woodworking tool is an ads, maybe? Main point is the crux. Office sub is a temp. With, with the giant letter form that black squares immediately above this answer, what the answer to the starting clues all literally have. T something. Name shared by two wives is Anne. Ali received the Liberty Medal. Noisy is loud. Words proceeding with my little eye. I spy. Have bills due as O. Cast outs expel. $5 bills in Abe. Market launches an IPO. First music artist to have a video with a billion YouTube views. Is it Psy? Tax tip. We want is it taught? T tops. I see. Nice. Slobbery dog. Tennis balls a dog toy. Next gen there. Home of Acadia National Park is Maine. Mama's Mama's Nana. Chess pieces are men. Little Wonder. Stevie. Bed and breakfast there. I'm at your disposal. Use me. Omar, Apollo, and Air. All right. We've got a T theme with the Rebuler literally using, uh, I mean, using the black square T here. Calling it a giant T is a little, you know, it's about as small as a black square T can be, but it is giant compared to the rest of the letters. So it's kind of a nice uh, black square built into the Rebuler thing. And T tops, that's why we've got vertical themers. So T can literally be at the top. T-bone steak, T-strap sandal, 
T-bar lift, T-shirt cannon, and T-ball glove. Now, I've heard of T-bar as a ski lift, but I feel like T-bar lift is a little, um, I feel like people just call it the T-bar, yeah. Okay. T-bar lift seems to be legit, but you know, kind of all of these, uh, okay. T-bone, T-strap, and T-bar can be referred to without their second parts here, but it's a nice theme. It's a nice theme. Nice Tuesday theme. Vertical, this T in the grid. It's a nice revealer. I like it. I enjoyed that. It was pretty quick. Yesterday took me a long time, actually. Um, didn't record. Just did it uh, late at night. It's quite tired. We've also got this bonus theme of Mr. T in the middle there. I'm sure um, Kevin and Daniel were pleased to get Mr. T in that spot. Michelle Akers, I guess, is a soccer player I should know, given that she was the FIFA player of the century. She played for the U.S. She started in the 91 and 99 Women's World Cup and the 96 Olympics. Where did she play? She played at UCF, Tyreso FF, Orlando Lions woman. All right. Good to know. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. Not familiar with that. I have to look it up. I'm sure Mike Wheeler will tell me about it. Um... Mars or a marble, like the planet Mars is an orb. They're like very different sides. The clue isn't super g clever, I don't think. They both start with Mar. That's, I think, there's their old man's old man and also mama's mama appear in short um, succession there. Zumba's nice, I see that Z. There's another Z, Zoom crossing Mazda up there. Zoom and Zumba. Interesting fact about a uh, samurai. You know, there's no part in the mass, technically, <laughs> where the Ave Maria or the Hail Mary is recited. There is a pl place in the mass always where the Agnus Dei is recited. So as far as the clue goes, I think it's slightly wrong I think I think it's slightly wrong um, but I okay it's slightly wrong if you want it to, to have this dual meaning where mass is both you know the mass and also you know recited by a mass number of people maybe it's just a misdirect right it's not meant to have the double meaning but I think it would be better if it had the double meaning I guess <laughs> anyway a and e spelled out like that always hard to get stuff like that so used to seeing it with that ampersand you know Tax tips and tax tip and dog toy. Those are both kind of fun. We've got this X. So we've got a definite um, effort to get rare letters in the grid between the X's and the Z's. There are kind of a lot of names in this grid, I feel like. Um, Sai and Ali and Anne down here. Omar, which I didn't know. Omar Apollo. You know, Michelle Akers, which, you know, I should have known, I guess. Sarah Borellis. I guess ABBA, proper noun, but Mr. T. But I guess Mr. T is kind of a themer, so it's kind of clued in another way. Anyway, I think it's a nice theme. I think this black square T being part of the revealer is a nice little added bonus. Some nice themers. Yeah, just a fun grid overall. Fun grid overall. And it will be pretty normal for a Tuesday, I imagine. Yesterday was a slow Monday. Today is a very average. My average is apparently 308 or something. I went 1.6% slower. People are going about 9% faster, but just about average. Yeah, feels like an average difficulty. Nice puzzle. Anyway, let's move on to the plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you like playing along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Plus words free to play. It's a British mini crossword meets Wordle. 
No, I used to have the timer visible, but something's changed. Anyway, instead of school, school pupils, I guess it might be a class. It should all be crept. Solitary person, anagram of seven across. I guess it's loner and enroll. Ambiences is auras. Shop or keep. Uh, and vens is probably cells, right? Route 66. Um, store, I see. Double meaning there. And just clump. No? I thought it was just clump. Can't be clump? What am I missing here? Oh, trees. Ore. Ore. <laughs> Not ores. So we've got this British spelling of enroll, but we've also got Route 66. So, uh... A little American stuff, a little British stuff. Nice. Let's move on to the telegraph code words puzzle I've been playing every day lately. Uh, yesterday was super tough, and then I was tired, so you already know I was tired. This one, I guess, is almost certainly an E or an A. to think about this. I guess this, I assume, I have to think about what, fjord, the double O there. Is this common enough to be an R? I think it is. Could be wrong, I guess. Oh, it's gonna be ivory. It's a lot of eyes. This could be an E, rectory or something. It's quite a lot of eyes, but liberty. I, I I like the look of what we have so far. Tea trolleys. I think that's a that's a British thing. Uh, exclaim. There's our X. I suppose this is probably ounce, and there's our Q. Quizzical. Three Z's in this one. Bibliophile. Nice word. Peckish. Feeling a bit peckish. Lay down. This is gnats and vegan. Okay, so after a really tough code words tough yesterday, made a good breakthrough in this one. Quite a lot of eyes. I would have guessed E, but this this fjord was an easy breakthrough. I think. You know, this doesn't look like it's a vowel. And then what comes? What constants come before J? Not so many. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at the code words regular for today. Let's see what we see. What we can get. Okay, so do we think E or A here? I guess R is not out of the question. Nah, kind of, kind of is. I think A looks better. Let's just, uh, you know, I kind of like I here. Something like aquatic. Don't mind that at all. And then I think we found the E. Okay. Maybe Kareen? What do you think about that? Career, even better. Uh, okay. Where do we go next? Extrovert. Extrovert, I am not. Cartwheel. Silver, I suppose. Parish, maybe. Uh, encrypt, nice word. Lucky. Pajamas, spelled the British way. Meeting, unfit, probably. Cards, badge, muzzle. All right. Some quick code words today. Just had to figure out this was an A, basically. And then what was the second breakthrough? The I here. Right, the A blank blank C. You know, I was thinking like magic or manic or something. And then after that, I could see aquatic. So, nice. Last thing we do here is the New York Times connections. Try to make four groups of four out of what, what they give us. And uh, pretty fun. Let's see, bullion cube? I guess I should look at some of the other ones. Uh, 
Let's see, red herring. Is red herring a red herring? Wishbone? Okay, I, I do see like, you know, vinyl, CD, LP, even platter. Um, I see soup stock and bullion, I guess. Ice cube, bullion cube though. Sugar cube. What about these as cubes? Okay, or bones. Herring bone, wish bone, funny bone. Soup bone? <laughs> Being stimulated every turn here. Uh, Let's see, so it clearly, I mean, it could be a red herring, I guess. I don't think any of these naturally come before bone. I see three cubes and three bones. <laughs> A die is a cube. Okay, stock, bond, option. Those are financial. Those are financial. So I'm only getting three of everything. <laughs> Ice, bullion. Sugar. Bond option stock. So something like, oh yeah, CDLP vinyl. So what hasn't been used up? Soup, wax, platter, and dye. So where do those go? <laughs> Are any of those kind of cube? Potentially. Are any of them kind of bone? I guess potentially. Are any of them a kind of music? I had platter, like a disc, I guess. I guess wax and vinyl. <sighs> well, your problem is that I'm saying that wax is a financial instrument, which seems wrong. So do I feel confident in anything? I don't feel confident in anything at the moment. It's bad. <laughs> it's quite bad. Okay, try this. Those are all cube shaped, okay. I feel pretty good about this. Which of these is a, a bone? Wax bone? Soup bone is what I said. Let's try it. Okay, soup bone was correct. CD, oh, CD, bond, stock, and option. Th those are the financial ones. And then LP, vinyl, wax, and platter. Those are referring to records. Got it, okay. Could have figured that one out. Uh, but soup bone. And then, you know, you do hear bullion cube, ice cube, sugar cube. Like, ice isn't inherently cube shaped. Uh, you know, wax could be cube shaped too. So I feel like, you know, you don't hear die cube, even though a die is cubed. Is a cube shaped. Soup bone, I guess, is just, you know, a bone you make soup out of. Um, so, but it's not as strong a connection as funny, hairy, and wish. And then the last two I should have gotten, but pretty hard, pretty hard today.
Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.